It's an interesting question. It is. Yeah. A young woman wrote in. She wanted to know. She apparently masturbates in the bathtub. Well, she. I don't know if she does it regularly, but it's. She was. Cons is it okay, or is that a childhood thing? And you know, I, I. I think. Should she upgrade her masturbation technique? Well, if that's all she's doing, definitely. I mean, that's how I started in the bathtub. I remember that very clearly. No, I started with my my little fingers. Well, I grew up in a religious home, so I think that's why. I didn't go to manual until I was a teenager. My first thing, I would scoot up to the end of the bathtub and put my legs on either side of the faucet and let the water run on my clitoris. I don't, re I don't remember how I mm -hmm. learned about it, but I do know that I had a girlfriend... And she was having so much trouble. She said, I don't feel right about touching. She'd been so brainwashed. Don't touch yourself Yes, there. yes. So I was thinking, hmm, this is before I was actually teaching masturbation. and But I was always... But you had good instincts. Yeah, thought, and I was hmm. always talking to my girlfriend. <laughs> so so I said, hmm. I said, try getting letting the water from the faucet in the bathtub. And, and there'll she, be less guilt. Well, and also water is cleanly, clean, or spiritual. You get baptized spiritual. in water. <laughs> you know. Baptism. <laughs> baptize your clit. <laughs> oh, I baptize my clit all right. <laughs> well, I tried Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just, I tried it to see what it was like, and it was nice. I liked it. It was fine, but it's too, it was too restrictive. Well, yes, and I think that's why I spent many years stuck in tension orgasms, because I was used to having my muscles, I'm holding this position. And you get your legs up and up. Oh, and I yeah. would like then I would decrease the um, pressure of the water, so it was like a drip, and it would make me come. So I was having multiple orgasms. Like I didn't stop after one, so that was good. But that's where I got to the tensing of the muscles. Yeah, well, which isn't good. My girlfriend that I told to do that, she, that she was addicted, and then I thought, no, she, how, how am I going to? She, you got to have orgasms on dry land. Now, why is that so? Why do you need to progress forward? Why, how you come as a child? Why is that not okay as an adult? Well, how are you going to have partner sex in the bathtub? <laughs> oh, well, I've done it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so no, it's it is a childhood thing, and the bath and that you can have privacy in the bathroom. That's the only place you have privacy as a child. I mean, that was me. It was the only time I could lock the door. There was no lock on my bedroom door. Oh, can we couldn't lock the bathroom door? Oh, see, it was the opposite in my house. You couldn't lock your bedroom well, door. No, there were no locks on any doors. Oh, there was a lock on the bathroom door. So maybe that's it. In the nuclear family, the only place for mm -hmm. privacy is the bathroom. So <laughs> that's where we're all jerking off. <laughs> bathroom sex. <laughs> we'll have to do this in the bathroom as soon as we I can get turned on. It's um, it's yeah, it's an okay technique and it's fun. And I, oh, I remember one time. And if you don't have your fingers with you, you always have your fingers. But later on, when I was pretty used to a vibrator, and I was on a trip with my friend. Uh, Albert stranded, and, and and we were on this yacht that Sammy owned, and I didn't have you know, and I thought, oh, the bathtub, and I had oh nice, when in yeah, doubt, so I thought, why not, so, old faithful. <laughs> so I got in the bathtub, and I my butt was covering the drain. Well, that's what happens when the water starts to rise, <laughs> and it's coming up, 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 and I'm thinking, and then you have to come. No, I, I'll either come or drown, <laughs> and then that was quite hot. So. Yeah, that whole thing. That yeah. <laughs> I so remember that. But. It's okay to experiment with things like that, but I wouldn't want to have that be the only way I could get off. It's like if that was the only thing you could eat or the only, you know... It's restrictive. ...thing you could see. You don't want to restrict your senses and your mm -hmm. development. No. So it's okay to do bathtub masturbation and water masturbation, but then what they did is they came out with the little hose that had the long... Oh, it's very convenient. That's different when you have the hand shower, the mm -hmm. shower mate. Remember when yes, the shower yeah. mate? Oh, the shower mate first came out. <laughs> Women were getting all shriveled up. <laughs> say, I'm pruning up. It's I'm turning into a prune. So enjoy it, but don't have it be the only thing you can do. And I was, it was good for me. I remember starting with my fingers when I was a teenager, and I think that was. You always say that you want women to start young girls with manual stimulation first before they even go to a vibrator. Because it's important to kind of... To be in touch. Yeah, touch your sex organ. And if you learn to masturbate in a way that it can't be applied to partner sex, and then you've got another problem. 
You can always touch your own clit during partner sex with your hands. Yep. Your hands are always there with you. Yep. 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 Are your hands with you? <laughs> My hands are yeah, with we, our little fingers are there. <laughs> now I want to go do it in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs>